Welcome to the Pixel Berry Choices Podcast and today we're going to be talking about chapter 11 of Mismatch. So in this chapter basically what happened is we still have to go along with this plan and finally in this chapter we sort of uh, we started doing this in the last chapter. We come to terms with our father Drew dating Veronica, our boss, and Veronica is finding a match. And whoever gives her the match will win this competition. It's us versus our love interest. And in the last chapter, Veronica went to Drew's comfort place, and Veronica was in an awkward situation. In this chapter, the opposite, the reverse happens. So we need to prep our dad. We sort of give him like this is going to be a really high class meeting so a lot of uh, people who will be uh, business entrepreneurs and who also helps and likes the ideas of let's say small bars and stuff they will also be there so you know it's like high places and our dad is the kind of person who has like who eats pizza with his hand and stuff or greasy stuff so he really didn't like to eat with forks and stuff so you know five um, giant forks and lots of jokes we crack with dad that it could be like we have we can have too many forks there so basically Maggie will come and will help him prep how to talk and what to talk about and then we'll also boost our boost our dad's confidence by giving him an outfit and we will also get chance get the chance to change our outfit and then we will go to our this da- our dad and Veronica's this date place and when we will enter we will see Jacqueline or Jack or love interest also there and to be honest in this chapter we see Maggie's weird characteristics because we were just talking and to be honest, it's uh, what Jack or Jacqueline said, not Maggie. But so said, ja- they said to Maggie that oh, they wanted to talk to our main character in private. So they say, why don't you go and pickpocket or just do something, whatever it is that you do for uh, your hobby or time passing. So that was kind of rude, but kind of interesting. Like, what was that? So we will go inside. But before... If I forgot to mention, in this chapter, in this gala or in this big event, not gala, but this is where the meeting was happening. We see our dad and Veronica meeting up with. So basically, our love interest, they take us inside to show us that how our dad is not blending in their world. So Veronica is used to work with these people, you know. They So one guy who was really trying to get under our dad's skin was saying stuff about our dad's bar stock here saying it's not a good place and she was really drilling our dad and veronica wasn't able to do anything so and also jacqueline or jack or love interest they admit they called that guest in they gave veronica the suggestion and in their defense they say they wanted it this because they wanted to show us that dad doesn't feel you know is not suitable our dad drew is not fit for veronica's world so this was kind of a betrayal to us because earlier we had a candid moment with uh jacqueline we shared our love interest past we went to a love interest mom's flower shop and even our ally made a flower bucket for us and then we had a diamond scene where we see through, you know, we sort of go through all the our allies stuff, childhood stuff. So this was kind of interesting that Jacqueline did this. So Jacqueline had a mischievous glint in his eyes all the time when he thought they didn't have anything in this competition anymore. But they still had. This was the last card. We thought that humiliating our dad and also see Veronica and dad falling out. Dad blaming Veronica that why didn't she step up and she said she was sorry. So definitely the relationship was under the cracks. And I don't blame for this first act, our love interest. I don't blame them because they wanted to put their relationship to the test. And, you know, if their relationship is that hard, it won't break through anything but what happens later we see veronica's ex-husband robert walking in and we then find out that he is 
the date that our love interest brought. And that is the last straw. And we feel completely betrayed. The first one was still okay, but this one is, we don't know what to do anymore. Robert here and this whole dating can't come to the media. And Robert's here, a dad Drew's here, who's already been drilled badly by these rich people who our dad definitely hates from the bottom of his heart. So what's going to happen on the aftermath of this? We will find out in the next chapter. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions and some choices you made. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.